surprise to be here, like Steve Allen, Andy Williams, Milton Berle, Melissa Manchester, Peter Frampton, Harvey Corman, Paul Lynn, Burt Lancaster, and oh, I could go on and on, but that's the end of the list. With the music of Happy Kind and the Mirth Makers, and me, I'm Jerry Hubbard. Hi, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Oh, I'd love to thank all of you. <laughs> I guess they all finished that complimentary half cup of rosé wine. <laughs> they were in a good... Jerry, come on in. I want to say that that was furnished by El Tacoma Wineries. And, uh, uh, I know you're not allowed to advertise alcohol on television. We're certainly not when we say that El Tacoma Wineries makes some of the finest rosé <laughs> and beer That's in true. all of Southern California. If so. they, uh, I don't really approve of it, but if they have to make it, they do a darn That's good right. job. <laughs> And once they've made it, why not drink the darn stuff? You might as That's well. Right. It's there. <laughs> no sense letting it get old. That's right. <laughs> okay. You know, Jerry, wow. uh, I don't know. We're new faces to a lot of you, but uh, you're new faces to a lot of us. A lot of us being just Jerry and I, really. We're new here in California. What a trip out, huh? What? That was something. That was the high point of the whole, uh, well, trip out. Yeah, it was a trip out. <laughs> a trip out itself. Because yeah. a lot of people will try to uh, make the big jump in an airplane or uh, uh, no. But we uh, did that laid-back California. To me, Jerry, I mean, uh, we talked about this back in Fernwood. If you come by airplane, you're going to see a bunch of what looks literally, I mean, it sounds cornball, but like ants That's on, right. on the ground. <laughs> and, uh, and depending on the airline, you may see ants on the plane. That's true. <laughs> but uh, and little mountain tops. We wanted to really see the country, so we came trailways. And I must say... That way, when you look out the window and you see ants, they're ants. That's right. They're not people. That's true. That was pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy a bus trip, and this was first class, too. One of those with the restroom in the back of the bus, and uh, I like to sit back there, you know. And, uh, Just in case. Well, no, but the people that come back, you know, otherwise you could sit there for, uh, what did it take us? Seven days, didn't it? Seven, uh, seven days, days across, <laughs> yeah. And nights, of course, because yeah, we slept right on the bus. The seats go all, way back to about here, so it's almost <laughs> like a bed. And, uh, the other thing we did, I might advise some of these people, uh, heaven forbid they're going to leave us, but they might be heading east for a summer vacation, something sure. like that. We were a little worried about the idea of stopping time and time again for food. You know, these lousy restaurants here, although we saw some we wanted. What Jerry and I did, we recommend this pretty highly, is we brought enough food for the seven days with us on the bus. So and we would be able to eat without losing time, so we wouldn't have this to This guy ate his whole day's first meal by lunchtime. <laughs> and then he was into my uh, bag. But just as well, mine was starting to go rotten by about the fourth day. Well, and um, a lot of thing. people in the bus were turning around, hey, what are you carrying there? And, uh, you know, it's none of their Be you. Yeah. <laughs> their hang-up. That's right, exactly. But some of those rest stops, they'll stop you at 3 in the morning, you know. know. Rest stop, uh, and they wake you up out of a sound sleep. Almost as if it's the bus driver that decides. Do you know what That's I mean? True. Like when he, whoa, -oh, you know. <laughs> exactly. Well, they probably have the time, so every time they have to, ooh, ooh, there's a rest stop there. But they don't, they should be more honest about it. Like, 4.30 in the morning, you know that's what he's doing. He's kind of squirming in his seat, and he pulls over and goes, lunch? <laughs> you know, he's kidding you. And, you know, I had a good time, because what I did a couple of times, and uh, I would uh, wolf down my sandwich real quick, and then I'd run into the restaurant just as the food was coming, and I'd say, bus is leaving! <laughs> More than once I did that. And then, remember the night it rained, I sat... I, I like Watch to your arm, you're oh, in my gum. Oh, that chewing okay, gum. I'll Sorry. Gum over here. <laughs> I like to sit up in that front seat just opposite the driver. And remember sure. that downpour? It was raining cats and dogs, and people would get on. And every other one, I'd say, uh, did you order this rain? <laughs> uh, wet enough for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've heard that one before, that Jerry. Good, Jerry. <laughs> 
we did meet some wonderful, wonderful we people. We certainly did. And, and, and this guy has uh, got a heart of gold. He doesn't like to have this uh, spread around because he likes to put up this gruff interior. But that uh, young lady, <laughs> young lady on the, who had never been on a bus before and wanted to sit by a window, and you made me get up and leave and uh, let her sit next to you on the window seat, let her s s sit there the whole night. And the next morning, you gave her a couple of dollars to buy breakfast and take a cab ride. <laughs> <laughs> a, ni a nice girl. She... You know, no, he doesn't, he doesn't want to admit it because he's, uh, he's an old son. But, you know, no, she, no, wait a minute. She was a sweet kid, a nice girl, and I, I talked to her that day, and I'm sorry I couldn't help her out with her homework, but I, I don't know anything about... Uh... But it was some trip, and as it I say, it was. Uh, it was a wonderful time. And getting uh, there is half the fun of getting there. It's <laughs> absolutely true. Yeah. And you probably remember the big part when we got out here and the press conference was happening, huh? What was that? The UBS, which is our new network. Uh, oh, the press conference! Sure, My gosh, a, you, you I almost know. forgot that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't I forget something like that. Like that. It was incredible, and uh, we actually have through the magic of videotape, which is a whole new thing we're using out here now that we're network. <laughs> It's incredible. Apparently, edits like a son of a gun and cheap. <laughs> so, we, um, and we have it. We have it, and we can show it right here on our. Uh, well, it's just like you have at home a Betamax. You have that, right? No. Well, I think <laughs> I think you do now. <laughs> Betamax. Oh, good, Jerry. I think I have one now too. <laughs> So people outside, so people outside the industry aren't confused when you hear that we're taping a show. It means it's a videotape. We're not applying last-minute first aid on it, no, so it doesn't no. fall apart. And we have our Betamax, and we're going to uh, show it back to you right now. These are the highlights from that press conference that uh, somebody was. I think it was Bill Nickerson, Mr. Mr. Nickerson US president, himself, was yes. smart enough to tape in case we ever wanted to show it again. Yeah. Now we do, just to refresh our own memories. Hey, I bet if you had your own. Uh, and you know what we're going to do? Just as a little teaser, hi. <laughs> what we're gonna do, we're gonna show it after this commercial message, so don't go away, okay? Happy? <laughs> Thank you, I'm, I'm so <laughs> Oh, did they get complimentary extra half glasses? <laughs> good thing. Oh, good. Kids, huh? Yes. I love it. What are the young people doing? What are they thinking? Boy, that's important to me. <laughs> and if I you know, know you, I'm... you'll find out. So. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I was so tempted to say we're back, but actually that's not true. You're back out there in television land because we were here all along during that commercial. <laughs> You're the ones that went to that little room or the kitchen or something like that, so you're back with more of America Tonight. Now, we promised you some videotape uh, extracts uh, from uh, excerpts, I'm sorry. So, so easy when you know the language. Um, from our press conference that we're going to show on our Betamax right here. Have we found the tape? It should be right back there with the shoes. We haven't. <laughs> Here, Mr. Star, will you please welcome, before we go any further, Mr. Burt Lancaster. It is a great pleasure to have you here. Well, thank you, Mr. Turnbull. He has a speech problem. He <laughs> is a great fan, truly a great fan of Fernwood tonight, and one who expects to be an even greater fan of the new America tonight. I want to welcome you and your company to the entertainment community known as Hollywood, sometimes. Sorry. He's got the same, uh, same muscle. as young as ever, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. Same muscular structures I have, I noticed. You came down here to welcome us? Uh, no, I was just going through to my car. <laughs> This is terrific. No, actually, as the, uh, I am frequently referred to as the father of talk shows, so I'm down here today, uh, something about a paternity suit. I'm not a... <laughs> it's a... Thank you. This is incredible. Harvey Gorman. 
It's fantastic. It's like having a bus tour come to us. <laughs> he said that you had to go because you had to rehearse. I couldn't yes. believe that. Yes. Uh, I thought it was all off the top. No, 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 no. Uh, you know, Steve is the father of talk shows, and I am the mother of variety shows. <laughs> I just terrific. wanted to welcome you to L.A. I just that think it's fa terrific. fabulous, fabulous well, that you're here. Well, you'll Thank come you. by and see us now, won't you? Uh, when does Emmett Kelly want this tie back? <laughs> what do you say? Uh, you want to know when Emmett Kelly got that tie back? Oh. Yeah. He was just making fun of your tie. Melissa Manchester, Peter Frampton. This is incredible. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're here just to welcome us, or you were here anyway? I, I can't I, believe. Well, this. I was, I was here anyway, but uh, actually, I have to, I have to leave LA, so I, I've, I'm just here to wish you the work. Well, well thank you. That's fantastic, and Melissa, you too. Are you yes. going, going together to sing or something? Well, no. Well, we may one day. She does a great English accent. He doesn't does. He? It's... <laughs> But you know something? You wake him up in the middle of the night, and he'd talk like anybody else. I bet he would. Yeah, he was just in the area too, and came by. I just wanted to come down and uh, and welcome you as uh, one singer to another. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Wow, well, that's really sweet of you. That's fantastic. We can count on you to come on America tonight. If I'll we... come on anytime you want. Fant and you're listed? I'm listed. <laughs> Oh, gee, that was Andy Williams. It sure was, yes. Jeez. No uh, look-alikes either, dude. Yeah. That was a real thing. No, and no relation to yeah, Esther sorry. Williams. <laughs> I don't know why I'm here. Oh, yeah, that's great. I remember when he said that, everyone cracked up. <laughs> anyway, since you're moving to Hollywood, uh, you know, I, uh, I wish you the very best. And, uh, and, you know, when you really get out here, don't call me. <laughs> And those are his own clothes, incidentally, the balls. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Uh, I just uh, dropped by, like many of the others, just to tell you that uh, I live here in Hollywood, and I want to welcome you to uh, Hollywood, and anytime that you want me to jump on the show and do a 30-minute cameo? <laughs> I'll be very, very happy to do it for you. You, you call me. Okay, now, One great. more thing before I leave. I want to congratulate you and say that I, I never miss your show. Fantastic. Great. <laughs> I never do. I never see it, so I never miss it. That is something. And Milton Berle delivers that joke better than anyone else I've ever heard tell it. Yes, absolutely. He's got a, a way of taking a joke and giving it his own twist. Yeah. <laughs> making it almost his own. It's yeah. incredible. <laughs> wow. you know quite seriously that a convicted murderer and this is him on death row do we have that a little film here a murderer named Stephen Hayes is being executed tomorrow in the state of California <laughs> one of the relatives of the victim uh, sitting beside me is his lovely wife Sally Hayes and Sally I must say you do look lovely tonight you're a lovely girl um, is that a new hairdo uh, thank you, Barth, but no, this here is really a wig. See, I didn't have time to do my hair today. No, I had a lot of running around to do, and I had a lot of appointments. Why, the meeting with my attorneys took over two hours. Well, that was the, I guess, the last appeal. Uh, no, that was for the publishing deal on the book, Barth. <laughs> It is so complicated. I mean, you can't just flap together a couple of pictures and talk about how you cried when you heard the verdict. No. <laughs> then I had to look at samples from those guys who are printing up the special T-shirts. <laughs> and uh, what else did I do? There were songwriters. <laughs> My goodness. Everyone had a tune that was sadder than the last one. Right. Well, that's kind of touching, Sally. And, uh, <laughs> see, you're holding up magnificently. I think you're doing really a good job. If you've been, uh, if you've been watching our show all week, and, hey, 
Shame on you if you haven't. <laughs> you know that Stephen Hayes is being executed right here on this show. <laughs> UBS will be the first network ever to cover the electrocution of a death row criminal. A lot of people have uh, died on this show, but not like this. <laughs> Okay, okay, I know I shouldn't make a joke. I don't think you did, Jerry. <laughs> no, but seriously, I, I think uh, this is what I call event programming, and I think in all due fairness, this should be uh, a special. Uh, they should give us at least 90 minutes of airtime, because I don't think how they could... How can they possibly treat a subject like this with uh, the dignity and respect it deserves in 30 minutes? Now, for instance, this is going to be Stephen Hayes' biggest day of his yeah. whole life. And, no, it is. And, and if I were him, I'd be burned up. Uh, no pun intended. I agree with you, but we're stuck with the 30 minutes. And well, okay. We to better do. that than nothing. So to continue on with the thought, actually, knowing that the majority of Californians are in favor of capital punishment, as proved uh, by the votes, we have been uh, running a contest here this week to give those people a chance to get involved. It's the, I would like to throw the switch because. <laughs> and I must say, the response has been certainly a surprise to me. It has been overwhelming. <laughs> I would like to um, actually read some of the finalist letters on the air right now. Um, we'll go in order here, one and two. Here's, here, uh, your head is right between me and the camera, sweetheart. I realize you are not a professional actress, and so oh. she is a housewife who is about to lose her husband, so that's going to happen. And Jerry's not a professional announcer, but he's here, too. <laughs> now, here's the first one. It's from uh, Hank Sanchez from North Altacoma, which is right here, of course, in Altacoma. Uh, Hank writes, Dear Barth, I would like to throw the switch because I think you've got a great show and I would like to be part of it. P.S. Where do you get your shoes, Barth? Mm. <laughs> and he says, Thank you, Hank. Yeah. Thank you, Hank. It's simple, it's direct, and somehow, I don't know, in a way kind of poetic. You're right. We do have a great show. And, uh, you're also right. You will be part of it tomorrow. You're one of the winners. And these particular shoes, incidentally, came from Bob's Bad Boy Bootery right here in the UBS <laughs> They have style to make your feet smile. That's what they keep saying. Now, here's another potential winner. Let's take a look here. Oh, this was sealed with an iron, so the guy really knows oh. <laughs> that's really was sealed very, very well. A lot of people do that these days, sealed with an iron. This is, uh, again, addressed to Dear Bart, simply enough, first name basis. I guess it's that kind of friendliness that we give out and it comes uh -huh. back to us. Dear Bart, I would like to throw the switch because we must set an example to stop violence in America. This savage punk, I'm sorry about that, but these are his words, and it's spelled wrong anyway. It's U-K-E, which is not right. This uh, savage punk brought misery to others and should suffer the heavy bodily contortions and feel the agony and pain of 20,000 volts searing his flesh to the bones as a deterrent to other civilized beasts like himself. And that's signed uh, the Reverend... Elmo Wingate from El Tijo, or is that Tio? I guess it's Tijo, I think. The rules, incidentally, were 25 words or less, and I think uh, the good reverend here, uh, Elmo Wingate, is out of luck. Too bad. <laughs> I think we should take a moment here to answer a couple of small thinkers out there who have accused us of sensationalism, simply trying to increase ratings. I say Californians voted for capital punishment with their ballots. If the majority votes tomorrow night with their TV sets, well, then everybody's going to come out a winner. <laughs> well, almost everybody. So. <laughs> hey. We'll be right back uh, with a lot more of this high-grade entertainment. <laughs> Well, we only got a second left here before we say goodnight. I would like to apologize, to, especially to you uh, people out there. And uh, I don't like the idea of a guest 
for a host or anybody, especially a host, I think using the names of brand names to his own advantage. So, and uh, something slipped out a little bit earlier. So not only would I like to apologize to you, but also to the Betamax Corporation, <laughs> makers of a fine, fine piece of equipment. I think no, no home is complete without one. You know, my other vision, how much fun you could have with one of those little home cameras, too, to go along with that Betamax machine. <laughs> What kind of things would you want to take pictures of, Jim? Well, you could take pictures of TV shows. <laughs> I'm just kidding, though. You could, uh, the field is limitless. Yeah, I remember. Well, Jerry does a little amateur photographer himself, and he's always telling me, Barth, what do you think? You think they'll process this? And I never know. Come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, well, you know what, how they are. You never know what, uh, you know, still those blue noses. Well, well, maybe we'll have a Betamax taken of this execution tomorrow night. Again, Sally, there you have. you're holding up. You're a rock, okay? Mm -hmm. Happy? You try to rock. We'll be back tomorrow night. Thanks very much. Tonight, some members of our studio audience will receive the following. Classic curves from Ditto's, the Feel the Fit Company. Pants to make every woman feel beautiful in sizes 3 to 13 and 8 to 18. And a $25 gift certificate from Lillian Vernon's catalog. Jewelry, gifts, decor, personalized items, and things from practical to whimsical. And slip your face into something comfortable. Face Quencher by Chapstick. Moisturizing makeup, blusher, and powder. Join Monty Hall weekdays at 10 p.m. as he exchanges dollars for laughs on Let's Make a Deal. Next is our feature, The Visit. Sally James as Sally Hayes.